All right, all right, all right. We're back. I'm Strategic Sully, and I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate at mobile gaming. With that being said, let's get into some Clash of Clans on the main account, Sully Man. And I want to bring you guys a whole new series that I will be rocking on this channel. I think it'll be something interesting and fun. So it involves my heroes and the campaign map. So as you guys can see, I don't even have all the stars to the campaign map yet. Or even have them all unlocked because really I just hit them years ago when I needed loot. So what I want to do is go through every single single player map with only my heroes. And I can use my clan castle once my heroes can't do the job alone anymore. But I'm not going to pick what's in the clan castle. You guys are. So at the end of every video... But once you're done watching it, or, you know, right now, while you guys are watching it, comment down below what you want to see me using the clan castle next time. And what I'll do is whichever comment gets the most likes or whichever troop is said the most, that's the one I'll use in the next video or episode of the series that I will be bringing. Right now, this is like stupid easy with the king and the queen. I don't even need their abilities. I wish it was this easy to three star up here in, uh, you know, the push to Titan, but unfortunately it's not. But I think this will be, you know, pretty interesting. I know these first, these, these first few are going to be just like weird it's so easy but eventually it'll get into some fun stuff and hopefully we'll start having to use their abilities and maybe it'll come in really clutch but i think it's cool that we're only using them and it looks like we're collecting loot too which is awesome so that was three one rocky fort now um something else i want to talk about was i really think if you guys have watched my boom beach videos speak of boom beach um i really think that they clash clans the supercell team needs to bring the reinforce button for cooking armies as they do in boom beach for the landing crafts because oh my god they would get so much praise for doing that so many people would love that feature in this game just to be able to press one button and it cooks the ex where's my king Oh my goodness, did my king get damaged or something? We're going to do this entire one with just the queen. This will be fun. Oh, I was really hoping she was going to shoot those level 1 walls. See how many shots it would take to get through it. Was that 2? Oh my god, filthy. She's going straight for the freaking main building. Gets the excellent. She'll be taking some damage. So, we're going to have to... Uh, look, looks like it, we're going to have to gem up my king. We're at the goblin gauntlet. So my king's done, my queen's got, okay, 24 seconds, we're going to heal it up, you know, it's only one gem, I think I can afford that. So we're at the Goblin Gauntlet Cannonball Run, and I, I'm interested in seeing how far we can actually go with this. I mean, obviously right now I'm not using the Clan Castle, but eventually I will, so I think it's going to be interesting, you know, maybe when I start bringing a Golem or something, if that gets... Uh, you know the most votes in the comments section down below i'm really hoping you guys don't give me a golem the first time but if you do i'll totally use it i feel like the golem is just a little bit overkill right now once we get farther along totally wow this is gonna blow through my gems i'm gonna have to like buy some gems the next video because my uh heroes are gonna get destroyed eventually that was cannibal run i think we're on two smoking barrels so let's do this one. Yes, this is the one we're on. Let's put the king in front and the queen in the back. Look at this. Why can't we build this on, on our bases? I would love this, like, stick thing in the corner with the horns. That'd be amazing to have. But panning back, the, the queen and king are doing massive amounts of damage to this base. I, I think it's pretty ridiculous that... Uh, how much how it cost me four gems to get the queen back up all right one for 30 seconds some people would say this is a waste of gems others wouldn't only for the fact that you know i know you guys want to see it so that was two smoking barrels so let's get into gold rush and hopefully feel the rush so now we got four cannons to deal with so let's do the king to the right queen to the left 
Oh, ho! of course the king's gonna go for their gold storage. He's a freaking gold-hungry bastard, is what the, the barbarian king is. While the queen does literally all the work to clear out the rest of the base, he's going for the loot. What are you, a goblin? You freaking big barbarian? My goodness. They are slaughtering this show. What level is that cannon? Is that a level 1 cannon? Possibly 2. Looks level 1 to me at least. And we're picking up loot too. I mean, not the most loot, but still. I got another Tesla down that I put down today, which is really cool. So once I get the other two done, that'll be nice and solid to have with the base. Two minutes for the king. It costs four gems. Five, six seconds. We're going to wait the five or six seconds. I think that's a short enough period of time where we don't need to waste that, you know, that one gem. But uh, that was, which one was that? If only you guys could tell me. That was Gold Rush, because it's a gold-hungry barbarian king. Wow, Dark Elixir troops were used on this one. Interesting. We have our first mortar, everybody. Let's put the queen there and the king over here. I'm surprised he didn't go for the elixir. Maybe he only likes the gold. All right, queen's doing work to the gold storages. King's doing work to the elixir storages. Queen's working on the, the centralized building. I don't know if I'd call it a town hall. Sure doesn't look like any of the ones I've ever built before. Jeez. King's working on the cannon. One swing, two swing. I think that's a little insane. I mean, depending on that level of that cannon, three swings from the king. I mean, yeah, mine's only 15, but still. Four to hill that bad boy up. Let's get back into another one. That was M Manjun not line? We're, now we're in Rat Valley. Rat Valley! Rat Valley. Alright, we got the king. King's gonna tank. We're gonna have to heal him up. But the queen is going to be able to snipe down these cannons nice and easy. Now I'm sure we're gonna walk through Bomb City. Yep, sure enough. How many bombs are in this one? Good lord! You can't even build that many bombs, you bastards. Why, why do we have to go through all the trouble of walking through that freaking... Oh my god. Talk about trolling. Just giving me a path to die in. Good thing my king's 15. Doing this at 30 would probably be intense. So I'm thinking once we get to the point where the heroes can't do it even with, you know, a golem in the, in the clan castle, we are going to have to finish the series once either my heroes are 20, 25, you know, once they get that upgraded ability um, is where we're going to have to pick back up on it. So we were at Rat Valley, now we're at Brute Force. I feel like that's what the king deals out, is the Brute Force. Alright, let's drop the king over here. You know what, let's drop the queen behind him. Because she's going to be able to take out that cannon real nice for us, which will be solid. <laughs> Queen's working on a gold storage. Don't really know how much she even picked up there. King's working on the centralized building along with the Archer Quen. And now they are working on other obstacles, whatever you would call those huts. My goodness. And what are these stones that they freaking have on this map? That one stone right here is pretty dirty looking. I don't know why we don't get spawned those stones. Or even respawn stones at all. Really, we're just set with our stones. Then if we get rid of them, they're gone forever. So, I wonder what you guys are thinking watching this. What troops you want me to use? Whoa there. Gotta get my king back up. This is blowing through gems. This is a serious investment I'm making for you guys because I know you wanted to see it. Now we're going to Gabo Town. And Gabo Town is about to go down to the ground. The cannons are increasing in levels. I'm going to drop the queen right there to take out that cannon. Hopefully she'll move to the next cannon and not a wall. Oh, the king's already through the wall. Even better. That's a lot of freaking buildings. Oh, my God. And Oh, my God. Is the king going to die from this one cannon? Holy crap. Would that be hysterical or what? If we got to already use the king's ability. Because all of these cannons are literally just mauling him. Once he gets to the yellow, we're going to pop him. This is absurd. This is this is absurd. Let's see how long we can hold on. We don't want him to die. We obviously want to use the ability. All right. I think it's I think it's time. No, it's not. I want to go all the way. I want to go all the way. Let me go all the way. Yes. Yes. 
Yes! We didn't even need to use the king's ability. We held out. Some would say that was risky. But strategically, I knew he would survive. How many gems is this going to be? 40? 20 gems. Holy Jiminy Christmas. All right, we're going to get into one more after this. And then call it on that one because I want to bring Clan Castle Troops for the next ones. We're going M is for Mortar. M is for Mortar. And yes, he is right. There's lots of mortars. Oh, we don't have a queen. Got to bring the queen. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I need her. So we're going to heal her up. And then after this one, it will call it for this episode. M is for Mortar is what we are on. We'll even get into Mega Blaster next time, one I've never even done before, so that'll be a lot of fun. And don't forget to comment down below what troop I'm bringing next. This is going to be the only video where I don't have troops. I have troops in the clan castle, but you guys didn't pick them, and I don't really need them, since it's gonna be, I'm going to have to keep refilling the clan castle every single time. So make sure you don't forget to comment down below about which troop I need to bring. I think this one is going to go pretty easy. The queen hopefully doesn't... Oh, no. The queen's just going to continuously getting cannonballs in the ass from the cannon the entire time she's in the center. So good thing I don't need to heal them both back up because now she's taking them right in the hip, probably now the knee, possibly the ankle. And now they're going for the gold storages just to clean up this base. So M is for mortar, had nothing on us any day of the week. So definitely some fun stuff and like I said you know the farther we get down the more intense the battles are going to be because it's going to be tougher for just the two heroes and whatever you guys tell me to bring in the clan castle for to defeat. So with that being said thank you for watching subscribe down below and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.